In an attempt to increase the physical security of your home, you have decided to install some Internet of Things or IoT devices to allow you to remotely monitor your home while you are away. In this packet tracer activity, Implement Physical Security with IoT Devices, you will install an IoT device to enhance home security. You will then configure all the IoT devices in the home to connect to the home wireless network and then communicate with a remote IoT registration server. Part 1. Connect IoT Devices to the Network In this part, you will connect IoT devices to the wireless network and implement MAC address filtering. Step 1. Connect the siren to the door. Click Home and locate the home siren and home doors in the living room. In the toolbar at the bottom, Click Connections IoT Custom Cable, which is the second to last option. Click Home Siren D0 Interface and then click Home Doors D0 Interface. Notice how wiring and other parts of the network has bends in it. You can experiment with this as well if you wish. Simply right click on the cable and create a bend point. Then you can grab the bend point and move the cable however you want. This is certainly not necessary, but it is a fun feature of Packet Tracer. Press and hold the Alt key and then click the door to open and close it. Notice that opening the door will now activate the siren. Step 2 is associate all the IoT devices to the HomeNet wireless network. The home wireless router is pre-configured to use WPA2 and MAC address filtering to control who can associate with the network and which devices can use the network to transfer traffic. All new devices must conform to the current configuration. Locate the four wireless IoT devices, Home Siren, Home Doors, Home Motion Sensor, and the Home Webcam. Click Home Siren and then Config Tab Wireless Zero. Configure the SSID as HomeNet, authentication is WPA2 PSK, and the passphrase is Cisco Rocks. In IP Configuration, click DHCP. Verify the device received an IP address from the 192.168.0.0 network. It may be necessary to toggle between static and DHCP to force Packet Tracer to converge on your settings. Record the MAC address for the IoT device. I will copy it out this text file. Format the addresses with colons between each two hexadecimal numbers instead of a period between each four hexadecimal numbers. This format is required for the next step when you will apply MAC address filtering. I already have the MAC addresses for the other three devices copied here. Repeat the wireless configuration step for the other three IoT devices. Step 3 is configure MAC address filtering to allow the IoT devices. Click Home Office PC desktop tab, web browser. Log in to the home wireless router at 192.168.0.1. Use admin as both the username and password. Click wireless and then wireless Mac filter. Verify that the filter is enabled for the 2.4 GHz wireless port 
Also verify that it is set to permit PCs to access the wireless network. Add the four IoT device MAC addresses to the table. Scroll to the bottom and click Save Settings. The home wireless router will reboot. Close the web browser and then click IP Configuration. Toggle DHCP and static if necessary to reconnect and get a new IP address. Part 2. Add IoT devices to the registration server. In this part, you will sign up for an account with an IoT remote monitoring service. You will then register the IoT devices to communicate with this service. This will allow you to remotely monitor the IoT devices through a web portal. Step 1 is create an account on the ISP IoT registration server. On Home Office PC, close IP configuration and then click Web Browser. Navigate to 10.3.0.125. Click Sign Up Now and create a new account with the username Home User and a password with the special characters specified in the instructions. I have the password typed out here and will copy it to my clipboard for use now and later. At this point, the IoT server shows no devices registered. Step 2 is register each IoT device with the registration server. Each of the four IoT devices must be registered with a registration server to remotely monitor and manage the device. In this step, you will configure each device to communicate with the registration server. Click Home Siren, Config tab, and then Settings under Global. Scroll to the IoT section at the bottom of the page and select Remote Server. Enter the IP address of the IoT Registration Server, which is 10.3.0.125. Enter the username and then the password, which I have copied to my clipboard. Click Connect. The button will change to connecting and then to refresh in a few seconds. The IoT device is now registered with the server. Note, if the button doesn't change to refresh, then you may have entered the information incorrectly. Therefore, re-enter the information and repeat this step. Repeat these steps for the other three IoT devices. At this point, your completion rate should be 100%. Part 3. Explore IoT Security Device Functionality In this part, you will explore the functionality of the IoT devices and monitor their states on the IoT registration server. Step 1 is observe and control IoT devices from the registration server. Click the Home Office PC. Notice that all four devices are now registered with the registration server. Click each section for each IoT device to display the device details. Notice that all devices show on, indicating that they have an active connection to the IoT registration server. Click the red rectangle under Home Doors to activate it. Notice the siren and door rectangle simultaneously changed to green, indicating that they are now active. This also confirms that they are linked. In the living room, the door is open and the siren is red. Click the door rectangle again to deactivate the device. The siren and door rectangle simultaneously turn red, indicating that they are no longer active. Click the green rectangle for home webcam. Notice that the video has turned off. Click the green rectangle again to turn on the home webcam. Click the red circle for home motion sensor. Nothing will happen because the motion sensors only sends information to the registration server. This is an example of a device that can be monitored only. Step two is interact with the sensors in the home. In Packet Tracer, the IoT devices can normally be activated by holding down the Alt key and then clicking the device, or Alt-click. 
The motion sensor is activated by holding down the Alt key and moving the mouse over the sensor. Alt click on the door. Notice that the images for both the door and the siren change, indicating that they are active. Zoom in if necessary, and then I'll click on the webcam. Notice the display light on the webcam extinguished, indicating it was turned off. Hold down the Alt key and move your mouse over the motion sensor. Notice the activity illuminated when the sensor detected motion. This is also shown on the registration server by the activity light turning green when the sensor showed active. This concludes this packet tracer activity, implement physical security with IoT devices.